部和北韩领导人金正恩正式见面过招。一开始，两人并肩走向会议室，双方的表情从僵硬逐渐软化，最后甚至笑开怀。In the body language, there, you know, not just the handshake, but an arm, you know, held and a hand on his back. Uh, not too many people in、uh, North Korea do that. 专家从身体语言判断，双方看起来都很轻松。但正式的私人单独会谈结束，上场的双边扩大会议，谈判桌上才真的是叠对叠。美国派出三大巨头：白宫幕僚长凯利、国务卿蓬佩奥，还有国安顾问波顿。但座位的安排微妙，差点让川金会破局的波顿被搭配边疆。反观北韩，每一个谈判代表都是万中选一。金委员長と金四長の副委員長、そしてリスヨン副委員長とリヨンホ外相の四人で。金正恩最信任的前情报头子金英哲当然要坐在身边，随时观察美方的一举一动，才能回去好好写报告。一场世纪川金会，从首轮到第二轮会谈，除了美朝两方外交过招，对各自的核心幕僚团队来说，也是一场角力赛。三立新闻陈素伟报道。That's、uh, got tremendous potential, and I think he understands that, and he wants to do what's right.、Uh, it's my honor today to address. The people of the world, following this very historic summit with Chairman Kim Jong Un of North Korea, spent very intensive hours. We have spent this summit for 24 hours, or three months, and we have had a very intense process. I think you have gotten the signed document, or you will very shortly. This is my pleasure. It's going to happen. I stand before you as an emissary of the American people to deliver a message of hope and vision, and a message of peace. Let me begin by thanking our incredible hosts in Singapore. 首先让我先感谢我们非常呃辛苦的李显龙总理来举办这么棒的川金会。This is a country of profound grace and beauty, and we send our warmest wishes to every citizen of Singapore. 我们向新加坡人致上我们最暖的致呃问候。So important and so pleasant, despite all of the work and all of the long hours. 在这么长的会议里面，我们感到非常愉快。He's working hard. In fact, I'll be speaking to him right after we're finished. Prime Minister Abe of Japan, friend of mine. Uh, my good friend Abe, Prime Minister. And he wants what's right for Japan and for the world.、He's、a good man. And a very special person, President Xi. 还有个非常特别的人呢，习近平。Who has really closed up that border? Maybe a little bit less so over the last couple of months, but that's okay. But he really has, and he's a terrific person and a friend of mine and a great leader of his people. I want to thank them for their efforts to help us get to this very historic day. Most importantly, I want to thank Chairman Kim for taking. The first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. I want to thank Kim Jong Un for taking the first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. I want to thank Kim Jong Un for taking the first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. I want to thank Kim Jong Un for taking the first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. I want to thank Kim Jong Un for taking the first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. I want to thank Kim Jong Un for taking the first bold step toward a bright new future for his people. Productive. We got to know each other well in a very confined period of time. Under very strong, strong circumstances. 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 Under very strong, strong circ
我们也感谢先祖的祖先留下的血来唤醒我们今天的和平。Gives up its nuclear weapons and embraces commerce and engagement with the rest of the world that really wants to engage. 北韩想要和世界接轨。Chairman Kim is before him an opportunity like no other to be remembered as the leader who ushered in a glorious new era of security and prosperity for his people. Chairman Kim and I just signed a joint statement in which he reaffirms his unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We also agreed to vigorous negotiations to implement the agreement as soon as possible. We will soon be able to do this. This isn't the past. This isn't another administration that never got it started. Chairman Kim has told me that North Korea is already destroying a major missile engine testing site. That's not in your signed document. We agreed to that after the agreement was signed. That's a big thing. The missiles that they were testing, the site is going to be destroyed very soon. Today is the beginning of an arduous process. Our eyes are wide open. But peace is always worth the effort, especially in this case. This should have been done years ago. This should have been resolved a long time ago. These issues have been resolved long ago. We are resolving it now. Chairman Kim has the chance to seize an incredible future for his people. Anyone can make war, but only the most courageous can make peace. The current state of affairs cannot endure forever. The people of Korea, North and South, are profoundly talented, industrious, and gifted. These are truly gifted people. They share the same heritage, language, customs, culture, and destiny. But to realize their amazing destiny, to reunite their national family, the menace of nuclear weapons will now be removed. In the meantime, the sanctions will remain in effect. We dream of a future where all Koreans can live together in harmony, where families are reunited and hopes are reborn, and where the light of peace chases away the darkness of war. This bright future is within, and this is what's happening. It is right there. It's within our reach. It's going to be there. It's going to happen. People thought this could never take place. It is now taking place. It's a very great day. It's a very great moment in the history of the world. This is very important, very important, very important, very important day. Chairman Kim is on his way back to North Korea, and I know for a fact that soon as he arrives, he's going to start a process that's going to make a lot of people very happy and very safe. So it's an honor to be with everybody today. The media, 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 Makes me feel very uncomfortable, but it is what it is. People understand that this is something very important to all of us, including yourselves and your families. So thank you very much for being here. We'll take some questions. Wow. That's a lot of questions. Sure. Thank you. NBC. Thanks, Mr. President. Two questions for you, if you don't mind. First. The man you met today, Kim Jong Un, as you know, has killed family members, has starved his own people, is responsible for the death of the people. Why are you so comfortable calling him very talented? So we are very talented. Anybody that takes over a situation like he did at 26 years of age and is able to run it and run it tough, I don't say. He was nice, or I don't say anything about it. He was nice. Very few people at that age. You can take one out of ten thousand probably. Otto Warmbier is a very special person, and he will be for a long time in my life. His parents are good friends of mine. I think without Otto, this would not have happened. Something happened from that day. It was a terrible thing. It was brutal. But a lot of people started to focus on what was going on, including North Korea. I really think that Otto is someone who did not die in vain. I told this to his parents. Special young man, and and I have to say, special parents, special people. Otto did not die in vain. 
He had a lot to do with us being here today. Okay, thank, thank you, you very Mr. much. Mr. President, that second question for you, sir, was on the security. Second question, sir, on the security assurances you talked about in your statement. Can you be specific about what assurances you are willing to give to Kim Jong Un? Does that include reducing military capabilities? Kim Jong Un is not going to give any assurances. No, we're not reducing anything. We're not reducing. At some point, I have to be honest, and I used to say this during my campaign, as you know, probably better than most. Uh, I want to get our soldiers out. I want to bring our soldiers back home. We have right now 32,000 soldiers in South Korea, and I'd like to be able to bring them back home. But that's not part of the equation right now. At some point, I hope it will be, but not right now. We will be stopping the war games, which will save us a tremendous amount of money, unless and until we see that the future negotiation is not going along like it should. But we'll be saving a tremendous amount of money. Plus, I think it's very provocative. Uh, yes, John. Yes, John. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I thought you were John Roberts. I looked at you. Look right. just much better, we're right? Frequently, we're frequently confused, Mr. President. Yes. Mr. President, this joint statement does not talk about verifiable or irreversible denuclearization. No, not at all. Because if you look at it, I mean, it said we are going to um, let's say here, it will be gone. We, I don't think you can be any more plain than what we're. What we're asking issues related to the establishment of the new U.S. DPKR relations, the building.、Uh, we talk about the、uh, guarantees, and we talk about unwavering commitment to the complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. This is the document that we just signed. Did you discuss with Chairman Kim methods to verify, either with the United States or international organizations, that very process? And do you yes, we did. Yes, we、mind? did, and we'll be verifying. Yeah, we'll be verifying. It'll be verifying. It'll be verifying. It'll be verifying. It'll be verifying. Well, it's going to be achieved by having a lot of people there, and as we. Develop a certain trust, and we think we have done that.、Uh, Secretary Pompeo has been really doing a fantastic job. His staff, everybody. As we do that, we're going to have a lot of people there, and we're going to be working with them on a lot of other things. But this is complete denuclearization of North Korea, and it will be verified. Will those people be Americans or international?、Uh, combinations of both. Combinations of both, and we have talked about it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Be nice. Be respectful. I'll be very respectful, sir.、Uh, what, what did Kim Jong Un say to you to give you the confidence uh, that, uh, for once in the history of North Korea, they are not cheating the system and gaming the world and, and gaming、uh, the people who will have to go in and make sure that they're actually giving up their nuclear arsenal? Yeah, I mean, very fair what, question. What We, he actually mentioned the fact that. They proceeded down a path in the past, and ultimately, as you know, nothing got done. In one case, they took billions of dollars during the Clinton regime. Billions of dollars, and nothing happened. That was a terrible thing. And he actually brought it up to me, and he said, "We have never gone this far. I don't think they've ever had the confidence, frankly, in a president that they have right now for getting things done and having the ability to get things done." He was very firm in the fact that he wants to do this. I think he might want to do this as much or even more than me, because they see a very bright future for North Korea. So you never know, right? We never know. But I'll tell you what: we signed a very comprehensive document today, and I think most of you have been given that document. But we signed a very, very comprehensive document, and I believe he's going to live up to that document. In fact. When he lands, which is going to be shortly, I think that he will start that process right away. I do. I do. I can only say that I know him for really well. It's been very rhetorical, as you know. I think without the rhetoric, it wouldn't have happened. I think without other things going along, I think、uh, the establishment of a new team was very important. 我想必须要组成一个新的组织来进行契合化，是非常重要的一个过程。Oh, this, John. I think you know you two guys look alike when the light is right on the. The hair is very similar. Let me see who has better hair. It's the, it's the He's got pretty good hair, John. I, it's the、uh, it's the angelic glow of the backlighting, Mr. President, that makes us look so similar.、Um, of course, you, the denuclearization, nuclear weapons, and biological weapons, and whatnot, is one problem. 
in North Korea. Another huge problem is the, the horrible record that they have on human rights. Was that discussed at all? Is that something that you will tackle in the future? Yes, it was discussed. Um, it will be discussed the future, human rights. And what was also discussed in great detail, John, was the fact that, you know, we have, and I must have had I, I just countless calls and letters and tweets, anything you can do. They want the remains of their sons back. They want the remains of their fathers and mothers and all of the people that got caught into that really brutal war, which took place to a large extent in North Korea. And uh, I asked for it today, and we got it. That was a very last minute. Uh, the remains will be coming back. They're going to start that process. But so many people, even during the campaign, they say, is there any way you can work with North Korea to get the remains of my son back or my father back? So many people ask me this question, and, you know, I said, look, we don't get along too well with that particular group of people, but now we do. And he agreed to that so quickly and so nice. It was really a very nice thing, and he understands it. He understands it. So um, for the thousands and thousands, I guess way over 6,000 that we know of in terms of the remains, uh, the POW MIA issue clearly is a very important one for thousands, especially to a lot of people that are. But what what do you, President Trump, expect Kim Jong Un to do about the human rights record regarding the North Korean people? Right. Uh, but uh, they will be doing things and uh, I think he wants to do things. I think he wants to, you'd be very surprised, uh, very smart, very good negotiator, wants to do the right thing. You know, he brought up the fact that in the past, they took dialogue for, they never went, they never were like we are. Place now. But they went down the line. Billions of dollars was given, were given and, you know, the following day, the nuclear program continued. But this is a much different time, and this is a much different president than all This is very important to me. This was one of the, perhaps one of the reasons that I won. I campaigned on this issue, as you know very well, John. Okay, uh, whoever those people are, I, can, I cannot see you with all the lights, but you don't look like either of the two. Yeah, go ahead, sure, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. And first of all, thank you very much. Uh, touch the issue of uh, uh, peace treaty. And also, uh, will you travel to Pyongyang anytime soon? Well, at a certain time, I will. I said that will be a day that I look very much forward to, at the appropriate time. And I also will be inviting Chairman Kim at the appropriate time to the White House. I would, I think it's really going to be something that will be very important. And he has accepted. I said at the appropriate time. We want to go a little bit further down the road. But what we signed today was uh, a lot of things included. And then you have things that weren't included that we got after the deal was signed. I've done that before in my life. And we didn't put it in the agreement because we didn't have time. And I think most of you have been handed out the agreement or soon will. But uh, I, oh, you have not? Okay, well, if you could have those agreements passed out. We just finished them just a little while ago. Uh, but if you could have the agreements passed out, well, you'll see what we're talking about. Yes, sir, go ahead. Uh, I want to second the congr congratulations, President. Um, Thank you. Uh, what part did Japan play, and did the abduction issue come up? And yes. Also, the fate of uh, uh, the Christians. And the yes. follow-up question is: uh, When will you be doing an interview with Japanese TV? Fifty thousand American troops are in Japan. That's true. Again. 好，我们先休息一下了。在昨天晚上的金正夜游，在新加坡自拍挥手都来者不拒。三十秒之后，马上回来。Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, John. Uh, uh, returning to the question of human rights, you spoke very powerfully on the issue uh, during your State of the Union address. You, right. you showed that you had the defector in the First Lady's box with the crutches uh, who escaped. And you, at that point, said that North Korea uh, has more brutally oppressed its people than any other regime on Earth. Do you still believe that is the case, having 
having sat down with Kim Jong-un, and does he right. need to change that? John, I believe it's a rough situation over there. There's no question about it. And uh, we did discuss it today pretty strongly. I mean, knowing what the main purpose of what we were doing is, denuking, but uh, discussed it in, at pretty good length. Uh, we'll be doing something on it. It's, it's rough. It's rough in a lot of places, by the way. Not just there, but it's rough. And we will uh, continue that, and I think ultimately we'll agree to something. But uh, it was discussed at length outside of, outside of the nuclear situation, one of the primary topics. Do you think that needs to change to bring on this glorious new era you talked about? Are they going to have to... I think it will change, yeah. I think it probably has to, but I think it will, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Steve, that's you, Steve, right there. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, what timetable do you envision for their denuclearization? And in the meantime, are you thinking about easing any sanctions? Well, you know, scientifically, I've been watching and reading a lot about this, and it does take a long time to, you know, pull off complete denuclearization. It takes a long time. Scientifically, uh, you have to wait certain periods of time, and a lot of things happen. But despite that, once you start the process, it means it's pretty much over. You can't use them. That's the good news. And that's going to start very, very soon. I believe that's going to start very soon. Uh, we will do it as fast as it can mechanically and physically be done, Steve. And the sanctions? And the sanctions will come off when we are sure that the nukes are no longer a factor. Sanctions played a big role, but they'll come off at that point. I hope it's going to be soon, but they'll come off. They, as you know, and as I've said, uh, the sanctions right now remain. But at a certain point, I actually look forward to taking them off. And they'll come off when we, we know we're down the road where it's not going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Okay? Thank you.